create one more section. Drag paint type as screen. Add its property. Like default value as process improvement and save it, change the positions like this. Make it mandatory. Save this. Go back to some small main window and search for the Innovate application. Click on this module. It's not showing team building twice. And go back here. To refresh this form, I'll see if it's coming. Now, here you can see the visit after this prefix which we have set for number. Now I'll show you how to create a view. This is default view. I don't want to show this field on default view. I remove this field and save it. Now I'll create a new view. Click on new. Give the name to view. Now select what will you want to show on this view. Save this. Open Innovate Table Record. You will see now 
I'm on innovate view. This is a form layout for innovate view. Now I'll switch to default view. That's how we create view in ServiceNow instance and we also define what field should display under view. This is the same record you are seeing here but when I am switching from one view to another view you are seeing there is a different form layout for each view. That's how we show fields on view. Now I'll show you how to activate plugin in ServiceNow instance as well as I'll show you how to create users, group and role and how to assign role to particular user via group. In left navigator, type plugins, click on this module. Here you can search via name or you also can search via ID if you know the plugin ID. Now I want to install knowledge management service portal which is inactive on this instance you also can see status here click on this plugin and click on this related link activate upgrade and click on activate button to activate this plugin now this plugin is installed now you can see that status is changed to active now i'll show you how to create user and service for instance in left navigator type user Click on this module under user administration menu. You also can open user table by writing user table name this underscore user dot list. Click on new button. Find user ID here. Here you will write user first name, user last. Set the password for this user account. If you want or allow a user to reset their password, then select this option. Here you can set user email ID. Here you can search language, fill all the necessary information for this user and click on submit button. Now this user is created in this instance. Here you can assign role directly to the user by clicking on this edit button. From here you can select role. And click on save button. Now this role is assigned to this user. You only have assigned asset role to this user. But rest of others roles are assigned automatically. This is because these all roles are inherited from this role. We open this role. Now you can see that this role contains other five roles. According to best practice, create a group and assign this role to a group and then 
make this user as a member of that particular group don't assign directly role to a user so i'm clicking on edit button removing this role now i'll create a group i select manager of this group now this user is a member of this group now i'll assign role to this group open this group first select the role now i have assigned role to this group and this user is member of this group you can see in this rated list also now i'll open this user record now you will see automatically these roles are assigned to this user because this user is a member of this group and this group is having asset role you also can create group from here type groups in left navigator click on this module here you can see asset group if you want to add member in this group click on edit button if you want to create a member in this group then click on new button here you will see all the existing members add this member now this member is having all this role because this group is containing a set role so indirectly or directly this role has assigned to this user as well as because this user now has become a member of this asset group 